Sometimes it's hard to put a face behind a society or corporation or organization. That's why we look to the people or leaders of said things to get an idea of what they're about. So before we get to Colonel Alcott, let's finish up with some highlights on Blavatsky and how their relationship formed of this dynamic duo. We're just going to call them this dynamic Freemason duo. So, quoting from this article dated April 1906 from the New Haven Union, the acquaintance of these two notable people began in 1874 at the Eddy Homestead in Chitterden, Massachusetts, where they had gone independently to investigate the first spiritualistic phenomenon which was reported in America. This is Madame Blavatsky and Colonel Alcott. And I must pause here for a moment, or I'm sorry, for a minute. So this article is claiming that Blavatsky and Colonel Alcott were the first paranormal investigators or ghost hunters in America. So that's a major statement there, isn't it? And let's pause to think about that for just a second. So going back to the article, it states they went on to become friends following up the interest manifested in the Eddie Ghost. Alcott and Blavatsky attempted to find or found a miracle club that ended in failure. However, they were successful in attracting a circle of persons who were interested in occultism. And about this time, a Mr. George H. Felt was invited to deliver in Madame Blavatsky's apartment a private lecture on the lost canon of proportions of the Egyptians. During this lecture, Mr. Felt thought he had discovered the key to the cosmic mysteries. Interesting statement that we'll come back to. And of course, Colonel Alcott was quick to seize the opportunity to organize a society for physical research and the study of mysticism at the end of Felt's lecture. So we're starting to see this agenda take form. And when we understand that these individuals were Freemasons, Freemasons who fully believed in the mysticism or mystery Babylon, coming together as the first ghost hunters in America, it becomes very apparent that there is a much bigger agenda at play here. Once more, the article states, the establishment of the society belongs only to Colonel Alcott and Madame Blavatsky, for though many trials and difficulties, these two staunch pioneers continue to uphold its interest. And it goes on to say that if it had not been for the publication of Blavatsky, I'm sorry, Blavatsky's book, Isis Unveiled, and for the occurrence of certain inexplicable phenomenon which manifested through Blavatsky, the society would not have attracted much attention. 
So what's up about the Eddie Ghost of Chitterden, Massachusetts? First, let me point out that in the Paducah Evening Sun, dated February of 1907, an article states that the Eddie Ghost was located in Vermont. So discrepancies already on locations really isn't surprising, I guess. But back to the point here, the Eddie Farm incident drew hundreds of spectators and belonged to the Eddie brothers. The story being that these two farmers who were brothers saw solidified ghosts in their farmhouse. Blavatsky and Alcott stayed on at this farm for over 12 weeks to investigate. Supposedly, due to Blavatsky's occult powers, new figures began to appear among the Eddy ghost, and before Blavatsky arrived, there had only been spirits who were known to persons in the house. But after, there appeared spooks of other nationalities, which of course makes my mind jump to the probability that Blavatsky brought those entities with her, or perhaps made them up altogether. I personally believe, like many of you, that the spirit world is real, and these Freemasonic occultists bring their own familiar spirits or demons wherever they go, and they access them at will. And, as we'll see in the next video, the Eddie brothers were fellow occultists looking to promote this new society. Puppets introducing magic to the masses. Or at least that's how I summarize it. <laughs> so real quick, we'll take a look at this Eddie farm before we get into Blavatsky and Alcott and their relationship. Thanks to those who keep up with me and the topics I cover, 